When we talk about networking in AWS, essentially we talk about how you can isolate your resources in the cloud. That's something that is a key concern or key requirement for all the organizations that are moving their workload to the cloud. How do I do that? And you can do it using VPC, the virtual private cloud. We'll take a look at virtual private cloud as well. Then you have something called elastic load balancing, where you can say, I have many applications and I want you to do a load balancing for those applications. And AWS gives you out of the box functionality, a managed service called ELB, elastic load balancing, which will do just that. AWS also has something called Route 53. This is a fully managed, highly available cloud DNS service. And what it does is it basically acts like a phone directory. So you put your IP address and put your website address and it converts that to the IP address and then brings you to your source, uh, which could be the S3 bucket or your load balance or really anything. Let's go to console and then take a look at this thing. Right now I am in EC2 and then I am at the load balancers. If I click on the load balancer, I can have two types of load balancer where I have an application load balancer. So think about this. If I am a retail website and I have something like apparel, I have sports, outdoors, all of these sections, and I have a social section as well on my website, and I want load for all these sections to be managed separately. And then what I can do, I can come over here and I can set up some target groups and then I can distribute my load for all these sections of my website. So essentially, I want to change the load of my traffic and I want to divert that traffic and I can do that all from here. And this again is available for HTTP and HTTPS if you want to do a load balancing at a network LAN, like a TCP or SSL, then I'm going to choose the classic load balancer. VPC, or Virtual Private Cloud, again is a place where you can isolate your resources in cloud. This is one of the places where you can use a VPN connection to create an encrypted IPsec tunnel to talk between your data center and your resources and clouds. So your VPC can talk to your resources in your data center and you can do that by using a customer gateway at your end, your data center end, then use a virtual private gateway at your cloud end. There are firewalls that you can set up, which are called network access control lists. You have subnets, which is a logical grouping of your resources. So you would have resources who would talk to the internet. You would put that in your public subnet by using internet gateway attached to that. Or you can have subnets that would not be talking to the internet, but would be talking internally instead. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.